What's up, y'all? It's Brett. Back with my YouTube channel, Good Talk Gaming, and we are playing more for the King. So I wanted to show you guys something uh, today that we haven't gone over yet. Uh, before we do that, though, let me first apologize for the abrupt ending to the last episode. Basically, it was a ridiculous technical issue um, just that resulted from me playing on my laptop, recording a bit too much without deleting old recordings, and I was given like an error message saying that if I kept recording, Basically, it would shut down, uh, and I would probably lose some footage, and that wouldn't be any good. I've had that happen to me before. So in order to prevent that from happening, I just cut the episode short. Um, I'm sure I'm going to make it up to you guys in some way, probably by releasing three episodes of something in a single day. And that way we'll still have plenty of content, even though that last episode was short. Alright, so without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the lore store. That's what I was talking about. So this is what we can spend all those tomes we've been getting from doing the dungeons. This is what we spend them on, guys. This is super cool. When I first looked in here, I didn't notice how far it scrolled down. But there are characters that we can unlock. Trappers, buskers, herbalists, woodcutters. Um, there are unique locations that can pop up that we can unlock as well. It's a bit buggy like when you scroll, even when I use my mouse wheel, it's kind of strange. Um, different items, uh, artifacts, really cool looking weapons, hand cannons. I think some of these, the coloration is due to like the different uh, DLCs, I feel like. So here, I wanted to use two of them on the trainer. It's a mini encounter. Trainers can increase the stats of your party in exchange for gold. I would love to run across two of the, uh, this guy. And Secret Shopper is an achievement we just unlocked. Pretty cool. You can also unlock character customization. Um, we already have some of these. I'm not sure why. Maybe just because we bought um, the edition that came with all the DLC. So yeah, like I said, pardon the, uh, the kind of back and forth it's doing. I'm also tempted to unlock the Night Market. It says here, night markets have many exotic items for sale that cannot be found anywhere else, but only at night, of course. So I think I, I will unlock that, and that's going to spend our tomes. In the future, I'll probably save tomes for characters, because I think unlocking new characters is what's really going to add replayability to this game. But of course, replayability can also come from having more items and more unique locations and encounters. So all of this is good stuff, and if we play the game enough, I'm sure we'll unlock everything we want to unlock. So anyway, let's go ahead and load our game. Right back where we were last time. Can watch this cool, beautiful little menu. And yeah, we had gotten the Jester Hat artifact last time. Um, Roland and Sigmund are pretty suited up. Um, Mira, however, she just got the hat. The hat's good. And we just got a glass rod, like, weapon. And I wanted to see if we could give that to her. I think we're close enough. We also got this artifact here, this this hammer, which is based on luck. It does magic damage. And whatever bonk does. But let's go ahead and... Give the glass rod... Oh, we're too far away. Okay. Well, I want to give the glass rod to Mira, and we'll see how that goes for her. Ah, oh, that's true. Okay, we can still move here. Oh, we're defending. We were ambushed. And I guess when you're ambushed, you can't call in your allies. And he gets to go twice for every time we get to go once. And he has piercing damage. Alright, let's just get this kill. Man, I had a feeling I should have used my last focus. Because now we're probably going to take two attacks from him. Alright, Steadfast prevented one of them. Okay, now we should be close enough to give her that rod. That was not a euphemism, guys. Okay. Get your mind out of the gutter. And now we switch over to her. And see how the equipping this would 
change her ability. So it's a lot more damage. I see here it only takes one stat check, but it can be broken. Very weird. On a critical fail. I'm not sure what a critical fail is. Let's equip it and find out. I mean, there's only one way to know. This weapon is breakable. Some weapons will break if you fail every slot roll in combat. Oh, I get it now. Okay. Because it only has one slot, all I have to do is miss the first roll and this thing shatters. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Because then we're going to have to waste a turn switching back to our, um, our book. I'm more tempted, honestly, to sell it. I wish I could still see how much it, it sells for. Um, I was, yeah, I was tempted to use it. But not if it's going to cost us, you know, the run, potentially. Okay. We took some damage on Roland, and Sigmund's got some damage on him as well. We could camp. Might not be a bad idea. We've never used this before. It would also regenerate a lot of our focus. Because from here, I don't know where we go. We may have to go back to wood smoke. It may ask us to go down to somewhere else. I see a couple mystery locations on the map. There's one here and one here. And I also see a few other cities as well. The Dryad's Lantern, uh, Kazeli's Watch. You can kind of tell how tough a place is by the level of the monsters there. And I think there were level two monsters here and level three monsters there. So I'm guessing this is the baby area. We'll go here, then we'll probably rotate up to here. That's my guess. But let's... Yeah, let's do the... The camp. We'll rest to get HP. We'll rest here with Sigmund to get HP. And then we'll go into the mines here with Mira. Hopefully that was clever. And let's enter. The minerals here seem too rich for the place to have simply been abandoned. Let's head on in. And it'll tell us at the top how big this place is. Ooh, it's our first time fighting imps. And I guess they're fast because he got to go first. So let's kill this skeleton before he gets a chance to attack us. Not quite. What is this? Evades any non-perfect attack. Okay. Well, that was certainly perfect. I guess we'll start beating down the Jello. The odds of us getting a perfect attack on him are pretty low. I'm thinking we'll just use Mira. Wow, that should one-shot the cube. Nice. 23 damage on that. Well done. Mir's accuracy is pretty impressive. We'll share the loot. Minus one strength. Definitely not for him. Two resistance. But we lose one armor. I think this is correct. We also gain an intelligence. We get a salty jawbreaker. A permanent one to armor. I feel like we're going to give that to Roland. Because eventually we will want to start taunting people. Mira gets the scroll. Nice. We are ready. Let's keep rolling. Okay, a bit of a mystery. I feel like we want to use Sigmund to loot people. Oh, he still has a curse 
Although it's to his strength, which is not a big deal. I don't know if Panox fixes that. Anyway, let's loot with Sigmund. Wow, armor, evasion, awareness, and speed. That is definitely for Sigmund. Nice. And Roland's regening HP, but he doesn't even really need to. Oh, there's stairs in this one. It looks like there's three potential floors. Okay. Let's take a look at our stats here. Whoever's the most talented needs to do this. It's currently Mira. No, it's not. It's actually Roland. Sitting at 77. Hmm. Okay, let's just try and increase our success chance so we don't take a ton of damage. Yeah, taking 5 HP there kind of sucked. Oh no, it's... okay. Jesus. Okay, we have to disarm it or else we can't go. Uh, I wish I would have known that. I figured it would just do it one time and then we'd be fine. So we kind of took five damage there and lost a bunch of focus for nothing. And now we've got a tough fight ahead of us. And these guys we know can curse us. Not a good start. Good dodge though. Now we are going to smash. Wasn't perfect so we didn't land it. Try this again. If we get lucky, we look smart. If we fail, we look dumb. Now... Really meant to do that on there, but I got distracted for a second. Sorry, guys. And now we will use our heavy draw. I feel like our rolls have been particularly bad. Hopefully this doesn't matter here as we land a perfect shot with Mira. We took a bit more damage perhaps than we needed to. Uh, but since we have these pipes on everyone, our items, our healing items go a long way. Love that she gets refocused. Love that he heals himself. Wish Sigmund had something similar that he could do. And now we're at the stairs. So I guess it's good to know that the stairs can be a fight. What is this thing? A cut purse? Do the heavy draw. I don't even want to know what he does. Not all that interested in you, buddy. All right, terrible luck. And he only did two damage to us because Roland has a ton of armor. Perfect. Huge hit. Okay, now we'll focus here. And we'll use this blast to get the kill on the bone fighter. So let's see what this jello cube can do. Oh, we're poisoned on rolling. Okay. 
poison. Let's see what that does. Small penalty to stats and damage at the end of turn. I don't know if this stays on us after combat. But we'll find out. Down they go. A lot of gold for doing this. Can we get rid of poison? I guess not. Unless we trade something that we have that gets rid of poison? Yeah. We can give that to Roland. Roland uses it, and he is now cured. And we're ready to go. Make any final preparations before proceeding. Press ready when you are done. That's pretty ominous. Um, I don't... We're, we have decent focus. We have decent HP. Let's do it. Ooh, look at this guy. A Merling. Basically a Murloc. Got it. Steadfast block that attack. He's got three armor. And this guy dodges everything that's not a perfect shot. Let's get rid of him. Man, that would have been beautiful on the Merling. Bypasses armor. 12 damage. Ugh. And he's bleeding now. See if we can get that guy with some splash damage. Damn, and we can see him fail. It's okay. Still 6 damage. He's dead next turn. Happy we were able to dodge. Take large and frequent damage. Well, that was butts, but with the area blast here, we should be able to kill him. And of course, because it wasn't perfect, he lives. We could taunt him. Eight damage, Jesus. Let's replenish there. And we just want to use shot. All right, perfect. Shot had one less like check, so that was basically one less chance for us to all fail. Collect the wooden buckler. Now this is our first real dungeon, I think. This is this is pretty intense. Goblin Shaman goes first. I really hate the low accuracy on this weapon. I don't think we need to use any of our focus here. But we did want to pierce that damage fizzle. Okay, we, looks like we all dodged that. One, three, four. Yeah, we've got really good resistance on Mirror. Try and get rid of this guy. And a beastly attack. I think we can heavy draw here. That move is such a gamble. Let's just make sure he's gone. It was tempting to try and get greedy. And try to hit both of them. Oh, nasty dodge. We wanted that hit. Let's try and get lucky with a heavy shot. 
And we got the exact opposite of Lucky. And even a perfect hit here, I don't think, kill her, kills her. So she's going to get one more chance to do whatever it is she's trying to do. And he does level. That should help us here. To increase our evasion, let's give that to Mira. Maybe that'll be coming in handy in an upcoming fight. Okay, I can't see what's going on, Hermit Grass. Alright, we will use one of these Identify Scrolls. And then we'll open here. So that was not a Mimic. I don't know how much we want to use those. Maybe we're supposed to just risk it. She already has a movement bonus and a speed bonus. I kind of want to give that to Roland. And great, a tender pouch. We could use that. Ooh, wow, okay. Awesome. Yeah, let's give that to Sigmund. This is a super great pickup. That's the ability that she uses all the time. Oh, what is this? It's our one focus. We'll bash that down. He gets some experience. Good stuff. And I'm tempted here to give her her heal, but I guess we can always do that. Let's use the golden root, actually. Get our focus back. And I guess we can use the heal in combat. There doesn't seem to be any type of turn penalty. And this seems to be a boss battle. Chaos Priestess. No one will ever know what happened to you down here, only that you failed your miserable quest. And he's got some archers. He's got 50 HP. Okay. If I know anything, and I probably don't, we need to get rid of the archer first for pure damage purposes. Let's get, yeah, that's what I was hoping for. A big critical shot. Take him out. That's a lot of DPS that just won't happen now. Oh, big money. And I'm actually happy that they attacked him. He's dazed, which means he delay it delays his combat action. Hmm. We're not getting him either way, so let's go for the splash damage. Okay, seven magic damage and armor down. Ugh. Okay, let's just go for a regular shot. Get the kill. I wonder how long this lasts. Hopefully it disappears soon. Normally, in this type of situation, I might want to taunt... Um, but, given the kind of precariousness of this situation, I actually don't want him to hit Roland because he's got fewer resistances than everyone else. And Roland's going to be the one we need to do the damage. Him and Sigmund. Focus drain, minus one focus. Well, if he's going to use our focus, or drain it, then we're going to want to use it before he drains it from us. Ninety percent chance now, and we needed that to be perfect to bypass his six. A single slot has ruined every roll. Got it. All right, and we get our stats back. 
And we just need this to hit. Perfect. That's another boss down. We level up on Mirror, but not yet on Roland. 43 gold is quite a bit, and we get another Book of Lore times 3. Curse immunity. Poison immunity. Shock immunity. We'll just collect it. And a Traveler's Hat. Evasion, Resistance, Awareness. That definitely is good for him. Yeah, we'll just collect that. Whoa, five armor and three resistance. That's pretty sweet, but this has two strength on it. She doesn't really need awareness. Evasion is nice. Let's give that to her. We'll give this to Mira. And that was a lot of good stuff. We are still cursed, however, and I would love to know how to get rid of that. And what are we doing here? Let's disable. And that extra experience is going to give him the level up as well. Hermit grass, please. These things kind of get stuck sometimes. All that glitters. Achievement unlocked. The chaos has diminished. We have a chance. Hildebrandt says, What the devil? Whatever you did down there has dispelled a massive illusion over the sea. That tower can only be Harazul, gateway to the sanctum of chaos. I thought it was just a myth. You have revealed my tower, but you know not how to reach it, or what it portends. Please, game, stop. Rosamund says, Villain, surrender yourself and end this madness, lest you tempt my wrath. That voice. Go to Parid in the Golden Plains with all haste. Drea Palor, my counterpart there, will be able to fill you in on the next move. Got it. Well, at least we have a direction now. And this is a strength test. So we don't really want to do that. I kind of want to go back to the camp. The game wants me to go all the way to... Is that Pelinor? Uh, we've got to go way over there. So we'll probably start, I guess, by going to Kazeli's Watch. Although we're so close to this place, I kind of want to go there first. We'll take some time to rest. Put ourselves in good standing. Um, but I feel like the longer we take to do things like that, chaos and stuff like that catches up to us. So we do need to be taking out different types of camps. We can ambush them. Let's try it. Nice. So these ghosts have different names. No idea what it means. <laughs> none, none whatsoever. Let's go for the guys on the edge. In case we want to try and land. A smash attack for AoE damage. But we're so much faster, thanks to the ambush... damage. Ooh, 
we did get a curse. Awareness is greatly penalized. Luckily, it's not reversed. If Roland had this curse and he had this curse, we would be pretty aggravated right now. Well, I guess we actually can't head in the direction I was trying to, but I still want to go here. Pass the turn. And nice, that, that bell is giving us some of our focus back. One skeleton will not prove any challenge. In fact, we one-shot him. And now we can see a little bit more of what's going on here. And we have a lot of gold, so I want to spend some of it. And a new day is upon us. We're actually only on day two, surprisingly. And here's a level two enemy. And since some of us are level three, the level two enemies aren't that bad. Forest Mystic. Looks like a cat in a hat. Some sort of... <laughs> anyway, let's fight him. He's a Mystic Cat. I don't even know why I'm questioning it. He's got 18 HP. He's got pretty high resistance. It's the evasive that's really aggravating. I can't believe we hit him. That's just pure dumb luck. Wow, and him shocking us makes it so that we have like no chance of getting a perfect hit. That's a pretty dirty combo. I could see how in large numbers that would be really frustrating. If we don't have the items to get rid of it. What is this guy? A forest troll? Alright, let's see what they have. Check out the quest board. Fully restored to perfect health. This is somewhere in the burning forest. For gold. 60 gold. I want the experience. But it's like a delivery mission. The item is cool and all. I don't think we need to reduce chaos anymore. I'd rather just kill the sea hag and get a bunch of gold. And that's kind of heading in the direction we'd like to go anyway. But while we're here, let's check out the marketplace. Fine distance. Ambush immunity and elite ambush. This could be a great item on Sigmund, but I think he already has some of those skills. Now an old necklace could also be great on her. Plus three intelligence. Hooked sword. Lunge disarm. Warhammer looks to be a two-handed weapon, so we would lose our shield on Roland. Torches are... does that mean it's breakable? Oh, that sucks. I don't like breakable weapons. I'll probably stay away from them for the most part. This is better than what she's currently wearing. Wow, this piece of armor we picked up is 75 gold. Okay, I didn't see anything I couldn't live without. This is great. I think we're going to buy this and equip it. And then maybe give the other necklace to Sigmund.
Yeah, also this. We're gonna buy two of those. See what their services are. The process of blessing removes curses. Okay. So, does she have any movement left? She does. Let's get her out of there. Pass. Roland is going to come over here and test his skill. We want to gain one item instead of killing ourselves. 96% chance. Let's get that item. And it's a teleport scroll. Which I'm guessing is valuable. Lost and found. Uh, that's really not for him. Plus, he's got a blindness curse, so his awareness is already unnaturally low. Okay, he's gonna go in here. Probably... I'm thinking about buying the hook sword for Roland and then giving it to him. And then giving the brass bell to Roland as well and letting uh, Sigmund keep the spyglass. Mm, that might just be a bad idea. Let's uh... Let's not spend our gold. Let's keep our gold. Um, let's use the services to get this blessing here. And then we'll use our movement to head out could move all the way up here and try to investigate that place but I want to go kill this witch so let's let's come down ooh a cult device so there's only one in each area and we found ours yeah let's use our focus Well, experience for him. And I guess we'll plus one life. I want to see what it does. I didn't see anything happen. I don't know what plus one life does. I would love if someone knew in the comment section. I feel like Scourge is some sort of undead. Chaos is chaos, you know. Something bad happens if we ever get to that little skull at the end. Let's go into our inventory. No, we don't need to give any. I was thinking about giving some of these to Sigmund. But that's really not necessary. Let's just pass. And we've got to get good rolls on Roland now to make sure he doesn't get too split up. Uh, and that's a really bad roll. wonder if we can come down this way and fight the forest troll together. That pulls in the wolf. I'm going to use the ambush because as long as we have that bell we're at least regenerating and that's gonna prevent the wolf from coming into this fight and as I suspected he's a pretty tough enemy as well he's got 34 HP so just a giant damage sponge and we're basically gambling every time we use this ability trying to get a big hit and we failed both times and now he gets to go and presumably he's gonna really hurt us wow we dodge good evasion I do love that arrows are sticking out of this guy's chest. But every time we take one of these fights without rolling, we kind of leave him behind. 
It's probably just better to have three more armor and one more resistance than have two talent and two luck. So we're going to equip that here, and that makes Sigmund tankier than Roland, which is kind of crazy. And I feel like we do want to keep making progress. We have stumbled upon the catacombs. They're short dungeons, but they cannot be escaped. Wow, we have a lot of extra movement. Let's fight the dire wolf together. Only 16 HP. Let's get greedy. And he's fast. He's faster than Mirror, so... He did that much damage even though we still have 8 armor. Well, let that be a lesson to us, I guess. They hit pretty hard. move here. What is this place? I didn't notice, but this looks like it's a special location, perhaps? Go see what this is. Ooh, nice. We can gain an item. Let's make it 100%. She's going to regenerate focus before we go in. And we got another tender pouch. That's perfect. We don't want to land there. If we fight this guy, no one else comes in. We've got to do this just because I don't want to I don't want to have us sitting around doing nothing. Yeah, this is going to be bad news if we just can't hit him. Alright, we need to do that one more time. Should 100% have used her ability there. Because if he shocks us, we're pretty much screwed because we don't have any focus. to be perfect for it to work. Well, that really messes us up. Yeah, if he shocks both of us, I don't know what we do. Because I, I don't know how long shock lasts. This is cool. So a vision scroll will reveal the map for us from the fog of war. Pass the turn. Come on, Roland, man. We need big rolls from you. Okay. Not the worst. It's hard to complain about that. Did we have something we wanted to give Roland? Let's see. Can we do this? Can we pass this? We can't. We're not close enough. Okay. Someone was wearing a necklace or something that we wanted to give to someone else. She's got the old necklace. It's the worn collar. Yeah, we're just not close enough to give it. And guys, we've been running pretty long on this episode. I think I'm going to cut it short. I think we could enter these catacombs. Yeah, everyone everyone can get in here. You know what, let's do it. Let's make this an hour long. No, you know what, let's cut it short. <laughs> We've been going for 45 minutes. I didn't want this series to have hour long episodes. Um, let's call it here. And at the beginning of the next episode, we'll take on our first level 3 dungeon the catacombs. So guys, once again, thank you so much for watching. My name is Brett. My channel is Good Talk Gaming. We're going to pull the sword out of the stone. We're going to kill the witch. And then we're going to make our way 
to here, I suppose. All right, y'all. Take care, and I hope you're enjoying this this playthrough. Take it easy, y'all.